Okay, in this screencast, I want to talk to you about uh, fractional indices. Um, so, powers that are that are fractions, um, and what what they mean, and 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 I don't think this is new work, but I'm going to treat it almost as if it is. So, all right, I'm going to ask the question here. All right, if I've got um, let's say three to the power of a half, and I multiply that by three to the power of a half. Well, actually, no, let's work with a base like a square base. So, say four to the power of a half. I ask you to multiply that by 4 to the power of a half. You say, same base, add the powers, Mr. Shell, and a half plus a half is 1. So 4 to the 1, that must equal 4. But, hold on, let's go back and think about what these numbers must represent then, because my result is 4. I've taken a number and multiplied by the same number and got 4. So what's a number multiplied by itself to get 4? Well, that's, isn't that the square root of 4? So is that not 2 times 2 equals 4? So in that case, this value here and this value here must be the same. In which case, 4 to the power of a half, which is obviously equal to 2, which we've just worked out, must be the square root of 4. So if we look at it you know, with any other number, then you know, any number x to the power of a half by x to the power of a half, that's equal to x. So therefore x to the power of a half must equal the square root of x. So this is what we're working on, square root of x, x to the power of a half, and we, we take it further, x to the power of one third, well that's equal to the cube root of x. So what we do is we find this relationship here between fractional powers and and their roots. So um, x to the one third is a cube root of x, and if we want to generalize that, then we can say that x to the power of 1 over n is equal to the nth root of x. All right, so that sort of that sort of makes sense, hopefully. Um, but as we know, in the real world, this is not always 1 up here, so what about when it's x to the power of m over n? Well, that's still the nth root of x, but it's now the nth root of x. It's now the nth root of x all to the power of m. And so we can have a look at, um, therefore, we can say that, therefore, 8 to the power of 2 thirds is equal to 3, means it's cube root. All right, so we're going to evaluate the cube root of 8, and then the 2 means take the value and square it. So cube root of 8 is 2, squared is 4. So 8 to the power of 2 thirds is 4, you can check that. And you calculate it if you don't believe me, but I'm sure you do. And so fractional powers um, look a little bit like that. So, all right, that's fine. That's the theory of it. Let's have a look at some examples in action. So we'll have a look at uh, have a look at say nine to the power of minus one half. See what that's equal to. Okay, well this this we've jumped straight in the deep end because there's a negative and a fraction here. So first thing, always deal with the negatives. Remember, we don't we just tip the negatives into positives by putting them in the other part of the fraction. Think of everything as a fraction. This is nine to the power. It's that. Put it underneath. Put it in the other part of the fraction. It's in the numerator. Put it in the denominator. It becomes positive. And one stays on top. So think of everything as a fraction. And negative powers go into they cross the border into either numerator or denominator land. So here we go, 1 over 9 to the half, oh, 9 to the half, that's the square root of 9. That's square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3, so 9 to the half is 1 third. Moving on, 16 to the power of, all right, 16 to the power of 5 over 2. Okay, try and do this without me if you can. So 2 means what? means the square root of 16. All right, if you're passively just going through this YouTube, you're going to pick up about one-tenth of that student that's getting into it, pausing it, doing the question, and going about it that way. Square root of 16, that's 4 to the power of 5. Right, that's a big number. 4 to the power of 5, um, 1,024, I'm led to believe, is the result there. Okay, let's do 3, 64 to the power of minus... 2 over 3. Right, this is example 3. That was 2. That was 1. Okay, what do we do with the negative? We put him as a positive in the other part of the fraction. 64, 64 to the 2 thirds. 
Okay, now that's the cube root of 64 all squared. That's a st stage by stage process. 1 over cube root of 64, do you know what that is? What times what itself, 3 times over, gets you 64? It's 4. 1 over 4 squared gets us 1 over 16 as our solution. Okay, um, next example. Right, let's have a look at this. We've got this sort of mixed up between fractional powers and square roots. So let's get them all into fractional powers. So the 3 to the power of 1 quarter can stay. That root 6, though, I know that that's square root of 3 times the square root of 2. I'll come back and fix those in a moment. And this is 2 to the power of 1 quarter. And this is 6. I can work this out immediately. This is the 4th root of 16, which is 2, to the power of 3, which is 8. Okay, I'll come to fix that up. I'm going to just write this as 3 to the quarter times 3 to the half times 2 to the half times 2 to the quarter. Now, why did that 6 become root 3 times root 2? Because I could see that I had a base of 3 here, a base of 2 here. Once When I talk about base, I'm talking about this number here. That's a base. Right, this is power, that's base. So, 2 to the quarter here, 3 to the quarter. I can see that this 16 is a base of 16, but I can make it. And once I've evaluated it, it will be base 2. In fact, it's just going to be 8. Um, or would I be better off leaving this 2 cubed? Probably leave this as 2 cubed, actually. Uh, so 2 to the power of 3 is what I'm going to do there. So I'm writing everything in as, in as few bases as possible. In this case, just 3s and 2s. Okay, now adding powers of similar bases. A quarter plus a half is 3 quarters. So I've got 3 to the 3 quarters. Half plus a half is... Uh, that's not right, that's a quarter there. That's a half, that's a quarter, so that's also, that's also three quarters. Half plus a quarter, three quarters. And this is all over two to the power of three. Um, so what's this going to become? Uh, right, let's have a look here. Now, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is something pretty tricky. I'm going to take this three to three quarters, leave him up there. I'm going to combine the twos. Now, I'm going to take the smaller of the two powers. I've got a power of two here of three and there three quarters. The smaller one is going to tra is going to cross the border into the other part of the fraction. I'll show you what I mean here. Two cubes stays. The two to the three quarters is going to join the two cube down here, but become minus three quarters. You see what I did there? Right, he's migrated down here, become minus three quarters. Now the purpose of that is so that I can combine my indices. Okay, so over here, I've got uh, three, right? Two to the power of three times two to the minus three quarters. So I'm going to take three. I'm going to take three and add minus three quarters, or subtract three quarters. Now three is twelve quarters, so I end up with two to the power of nine quarters. Now that is because that three there, that three, that three is equal to. I'm thinking in terms of quarters. That's 12 quarters. When you subtract the 3 quarters, you get 9 quarters. So this is the, the result there. Okay, just one more example. Um, let's go through this one. Uh, x to the minus 2. So I'm going to multiply these powers together to get x to the minus 1. Y to the half times x to the 4 over y to the minus 3 times 4 is minus 12. Okay, so this becomes... Um, actually, let's bring him out. He's not minus there. Let's bring him out to be positive up there. So it'll be x to the minus 1, y to the half, times x to the 4, y to the 12. See how useful this is becoming? At now I can add the powers of, of same bases. Minus 1 plus 4 is 3. And a half plus 12 is a half plus 24 over 2, which is 25 over 2. Useful here to think of whole numbers as fractions with common denominators so that you can add them together. x cubed 25, uh, sorry y to the power of 25 over 2. Okay, I think we're good there to go with um, exercise 15c uh, when I see you next. Cheers.